Hello, hello. Right, a special video today. Um, three different sets. We're getting two Mr. Booster packs, convention edition. These are the ones that contain the play tests. Very valuable if you get the right one. Eternal Masters, since we're starting to cover more master sets now. And then our usual Modern Horizons 2, a set booster. So these are all draft boosters, this is a set booster. Um, these were purchased in Spain when I went on holiday there and the total cost was 49 euros. These two were eight each, 12, and this one was um, eight. So let's check this out. We'll start with Modern Horizons 2, just to start with something that we are accustomed to. So here we get an art card. Uncommon on the, the number two slot, number three actually. Okay, it's a good start. Right, six uncommons. And then a scolding con. Wow. Okay. Okay, this is impressive. We are already on course to just make the money back. So yeah, really good. Goblin Bombardment. And then we get an abundant harvest and oh splinter twin a rare from the list well this was a blessed blessed one uh this one uh, looks like hijiki yeah uh, i need to check the value of this one okay excellent star what should we open next uh, i mean excellent star is an understatement this is amazing uh, it's called Inktan, it's around 31 euros. Um, let's go with the mystery booster. Okay, so this one is a collection of uh, cards from the entire MTG collection. Uh, feels thicker because I think uh, so. This one was just repopulated with cards. So, yeah, we'll get things from different editions. So this is. Come on, come on, come on, and then we get an uncommon here, Archetype of Imagination. Decent. I think the order is also pretty random. There you go, common, and then an uncommon. Cultivate. It's always nice. Yeah. Call of the Nightwing. Cypher. Cypher is an interesting mechanic. You can encode a spell and then just play every time. Gruel Signet. I actually needed one. So yeah, please put this one. Lotus Petal. This is, um, this is really good. This is worth something. I want, I want to say eight euros, but ready to be contradicted. And then Nissa, Boys of Zendikar. I don't know how much this one is worth, but it's a planeswalker. And then a play test, blood, blood poet. See how these ones are. They're just like um, <laughs> we want to sketch. I don't know how much this one is worth, uh, but you will see it later. Uh, actually, let's, just, let's alternate. Let's open an Eternal Masters. Shelter. Very. Oh, 
Why not explicit below? Comments. Retrace. Retrace, I've never been a fan of retrace. You still need to discard a car a land, so don't know. Don't know how I feel about that. Always hated this lens as well, the the life gain ones. Never found them useful. Tragic slip, this is a great card for a common, it's pretty effective. Okay, we're going to the uncommon section. Brawn, Phyrexia, Gargantua, and let's see. Gonna go ahead and say that this one is, ooh. Gonna go ahead and say that this one is not worth it much, but this one is, and I think it's also foil. Wow, a mystical tutor foil. Exceptional. Yeah, jackpot. And then we get a token. Okay, well, this is going very well. I think we're already on the plus, but I mean, as, as, as usual. I'll just put the values um, at the end of each booster pack, and then at the end we can just uh, see if this was a worthy investment or not. Okay. The second mystery booster. I don't think I had a mystical tooth. I think at some point in my life I did, but I think I sold the, the, the old one. So I'm quite happy that I found another one. Uh, because I, I was going to buy it at some point, because yeah, it's very useful. Right, Convention. <laughs> so you can really tell this was, this is just not the usual standard for, uh, for the Wizards. They just literally refill uh, booster packs with cards from different editions. This is an uncommon. It's useful. Elixir of Immortality. Let's see what we find here. Green Belt Rampager. Okay, nothing impressive. A red herring. Yeah. Don't know about this one. Oh, yeah, another play test. Okay, this was probably the, the first one. There is a bit. Um, underwhelming, uh, although the red herring might be a hundred pound, a hundred euros worth, and I don't know about it. So, uh, um, from the look of it, doesn't look much uh, like much, but who knows? Okay, let's see if we can just like really end the the series in a, like on a high and just find like a mana crypt or something. All right. Well, and big rate. Juggernaut. Cosmetic lens. Okay. Let's see. Wrath of God. Okay. Not exceptional. Oh, just one rare. Okay. Yeah, of course, because that one was just spoiled. Okay, Wrath of God. It's okay. And we find a token. Okay, I think the Wrath of God goes here. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, uh, yeah, that's just brilliant. Mystical Tutor, Lost of Spettle, Scalding Town. Uh, this one to be checked, Mesa to be checked. And this to play test to be checked. Just put it by central. Yeah. Yeah. 
brilliant. I think this ones are the ones that are worth the most. Um, yeah, all in all, very pleased with this. You know, you, you might end up with um, spending 50 euros or 49 in my case and uh, just not getting uh, your butt any value really. You might just get five euros. But in this case, I'm fairly sure that between these two, we've got uh, our money back and then this is just extra. So yeah, good stuff. Um, pleased with um, the result. Um, yeah, it's a huge gamble to buy, um, mo mostly to buy Masters um, booster packs because mystery boosters, um, I've seen even with other people just to, um Forgetting about the playtest cards, like they, you do get quite a lot of value out of it uh, on average. So yeah, you might you've got to be careful. If you buy two, you might be very unlucky. If you buy five, it's very unlikely that you're not going to pull anything. And eight euros uh, per pack cost is fairly reasonable. So yeah, thank you for opening this. Uh, I would say very interesting packs with me, and I'll catch you guys later. All right, cheers.